What's up YouTube, Brian here, back again with another video. And today we're doing another in a series uh, that I like to call Stuff I Like, which is just random things in the, random products in the fishing industry that I think are kind of interesting or cool that I just kind of want to put it out to the world um, and let you know that it's, you know, things I think are cool. And so today we're talking about this bag, this tackle organization bag from Academy. Uh, it's part of their house brand, H2O Express. Sounds very energy drink-like, I don't know. Um, but anyway, if you've ever been to Academy or gone on their website, you see a bunch of H2, H2O Express products. A lot of like, a lot of like generic uh, hard baits, a lot of tackle organization, things like that. Anyway, when I was uh, looking through Academy last year, I saw this bag and I was like, this thing looks kind of interesting. I think it's called like the dual, dual, dual binder. I don't know. I, I forgot the name of this thing. I'll put it in the title of this video and I will leave a link to this bag in the description. It's only 15 bucks, so I've kind of caught my eye. And actually, with like coupons and discounts sometimes and sales on Academy, you can actually probably get this thing a little lower. Um, but a couple of reasons I thought this was cool. And let's pop this thing open. So, first off, it's a ring bag based tackle organization kit. Um, very similar to like the Z-Man ring binder bag and the, similar to like the Bud bag from Bass Mafia. However, this thing's a lot cheaper and it comes with 10, which is a lot. It comes with 10 bags. A couple things I like. Number one, these bags are really big. Um, a lot of volume in these bags. They uh, come with um, reinforcement down by the bag. So theoretically, they shouldn't tear that easily. Um, and I like how many plastic bags you can put in one of these bags. So in this one in particular, I have four Z-Man um, packages of plastics in here. And there's definitely room for like maybe two more. So I'm guessing you could probably put like five to six bags of plastics in each one of these fairly easily. You can always, you can always, you can always put like spinner baits, spinner bait parts, like blades and, and components. Buzz baits would fit fine in here. Throw a bunch of chatter baits in here. A lot of hard stuff could easily fit in this thing. Um, swim jigs jigs, I don't know, whatever you want really. Um, but what I like is the amount of stuff you can put in here. When this thing is zipped up, you got a lot of room. Like this thing can hold a lot of, of a lot of plastics. So the other things I like about this bag is the other things going on around the bag. So on the back, you got a big Velcroed pouch. So, you know, you can put tools back here, neck gaiter, um, some more packages of plastics if you're uh, a junkie like me. Um, the front of this thing, this is one of the coolest things about this. Watch this. Pop this open. Got a little baby tackle box that it comes with. And also, you can kind of like uh, uh, organize this thing the way you want because these little dividers do move around. So you got some, not a ton, but some options uh, of how you want to organize this thing. So you could definitely make this into like a system bag. So like say you got a boat or a kayak or canoe or whatever and you want like one bag that's like your drop shot bag. Like you can put all your drop shot baits in here and then put your weights and your hooks in the little uh, tackle box. Or like Ned Riggs swim baits. Although I will say clamshell plastics, like Kitek plastic shells, clamshells don't fit in the bags in here, I tried. Um, so like the bigger clamshell packaging definitely doesn't fit in these bags. However, a lot of options here. Like you can have a shaky head bag, you can have a walleye bag. Like you walleye guys could just throw all your jig heads in this thing and then just load this sucker up with all your walleye plastics. And 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 uh, when you go out in the boat, you, you're gonna go walleye fishing, just grab your walleye bag, throw it in your thing and you got all your walleye plastics. So anyway, point is, this can be super system specific if you want. Um, gives you a lot of like flexibility. Also, you get another little pouch right up front here, which is pretty sweet. You can put your hooks, your terminal tackle, that kind of crap in here. Um, you know, it's got really nice, uh, this cinches up pretty tight. Um, I love that the zipper handles have like really, really thick nylon. These are not going anywhere. This thing is just really built well. Um, the only thing I don't like about it is the handle. I'm never really gonna like hold it like this. I'm kind of throwing it around my boat. So I actually might take a knife or scissors and like cut the handle off because I don't really need it and it just kind of actually gets in the way. But overall, man, for 15 bucks, for tackle stores, this is a straight up gem. If this thing, if Mega Bass or OSP or like um, Bass Mafia came out with one of these things, it would be like $30, $40. But you can get this sucker for 15 bucks or maybe less at Academy right now. I just think for the for, for what you get, you get a little tackle box, you get a whole bunch of pouches, you get a lot, a lot of options for your internal storage with all these ring binders and bags. I mean, and plus, um, you know, you could take the rings too and then punch your own holes in the plastics and put the plastics right on the rings and make it kind of like your own Z-Man bag. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know. It's just this bag is just really nothing bad about it. And, and a lot of people don't know it exists. So that's kind of why I was making this video is just kind of shoot, put this out into the world. Say, hey, if you're looking for like a really cool 
um, system specific or just kind of random. We can put whatever you want in here. Um, I, I used this thing last year when I went up north to uh, um, on a camping trip. Um, I threw a bunch of stuff into this thing and then threw this in my other bag. So I just had a lot of like random tackle that I think I was going to use just for that week while I was up there. It was just very small multi specific stuff. So I didn't have to bring everything or like a whole big tackle box or whatever. So I don't know. This thing is a gem. Whoever designed this for Academy knocked this thing out of the park. On a scale of 1 to 10, this is a straight up 10. For, for 15 bucks, you can't go wrong. Go buy a couple of them. Really great value here. So I hope this video helps. I hope, I th I hope you think this kind of stuff is cool. And if you do, give me a like, give me a subscribe. I'm going to do more of these things throughout the year. Um, I just like finding little weird tackle things that are just kind of awesome and, and kind of off the beaten path that people might not know about. So anyway, the Academy Express mini dual worm bag, whatever the heck this thing is called. I forgot. It'll be in the name and, and then this, down in the description you can find us. But it's a gem. Thank you for watching. If you made it this far in the video, you got to subscribe. Uh, and uh, follow me on Instagram as well, at Punch Fishing. So until the next video, uh, we'll see you next time.